they're fish or any other creatures swimming around here. Aye, where'd all the little fishies go? Ooh. This is creepy. It's like a ghost town down here. Blech. You mean a gross town. Shellington, what is this green mess? It's algae. Algae is a common plant in the ocean, but there's a lot more here than usual. <laughs> yep, all this slimy algae keeps clogging up octopod faster than I can clean it out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Dashie. Didn't see you there behind me. <sighs> <gasps> A boss, mateys. Over here. What is it, Quasi? Look. <gasps> <laughs> Professor Inkling. Do you see how slowly those lobsters and crabs are moving? I do, Shellington. Very strange. Do you think it has anything to do with all this algae? Hmm, <laughs> not sure. Though this does seem familiar. <laughs> These creatures are poorly. We have to help them, Captain. Agreed. But first, we have to work out what's wrong. <coughs> oh, poor little fellow. What do you make of this, Quasi? Never seen anything quite like it. Psst, come on. This way. All this algae seems to be making them ill. Professor, have you ever heard of such a thing? I've observed this problem before, but where? <gasps> Hold on, Shellington. I can check my books. To the library! Yep, look at this. There's a leak in this pipe. Hmm. I wonder if that could be part of the... Hmm? Oh! Ah! Oh no! The octopod is taking off without us! We've got to catch the octopod! Octonauts, to the gups! Octonauts, we've got to get back on board the octopod. Yuck! More algae. Quasi, activate windscreen wipers. Aye, Captain. Gup A to octopod. Gup A to octopod. Come in, octopod. Professor Inkling, this is Captain Barnacles. Can you hear me? Please come in. Got A2 Octopod. Is anyone there? Come in. Hmm, now, where are my books about algae? I know they're here somewhere. No one's answering. That's odd. I was just talking to the professor a few minutes ago. I hope he's okay. Maybe he's taking a nap. Ah, if it's not the professor, then who's steering the octopod? <gasps> ah, here we are. Algae. Uh -huh. <laughs> lots of algae. Uh -huh. Lots and lots of algae. Captain Barnacles, if I can just get close enough, I think I can grab the octopod. Go for it, Tweak. Gotcha. Bullseye. Woohoo! Well done. Whoa! <gasps> We've got to get back on board the octopod. Are you with me, Quasi? Aye, matey. Hey, so you drive. Me? Ooh. Aye, aye, sir. Octonauts, let's do this. Ooh. 
Hatch. Professor Inkling could be in trouble. All about algae. Everything about algae. Everything else about algae. Ah. She won't open. Let me try. Sometimes it takes some polar bear strength. Combined with some pack like quickness. <laughs> ha! To, to get, get the, the job done. done. Hey! Follow me. <gasps> Quasi. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Shiver me whiskers. The octopod was taken by these crusty little fellas? Ahem. Uh oh. Run for it. <laughs> <laughs> We give up. You've got us. Why did you crabs and lobsters take the octopod? <laughs> and uh, why are you all coughing and wheezing? I ain't gonna lie to you. Me and my friends here, we were feeling ill. <coughs> so we, um, bothered your octopod. Because to get better, we had to leave our home and go someplace where there isn't so much algae. Jumping jellyfish. So all that algae was making you ill. <laughs> but where did all that algae come from in the first place? Hmm. I wonder if the water's polluted. Polluted? Yes. That's when things get into the water that shouldn't be there, which could make the algae grow until there's too much of it. But what's polluting the water? Yeah, the leaky pipe. That's right. The leaky pipe we saw must be putting something bad into the water. What about the other creatures that are still there? They may need our help. That's right, Peso. And that's why we're going back to fix that leaky pipe and clean up that extra algae. I've got it! It's right in this book! The water's polluted, which is causing too much algae to grow, which is making creatures ill! <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Octonaut, let's clean up this water. Right, right away! I'm on it! got it, Cap! Welcome home. We've cleaned up the extra algae and fixed the leaky pipe that caused the algae to grow too much. Mmm, just right. Yeah, much better. Thanks, Octonauts. Sorry for taking your ship. Now you won't have to leave your home ever again. Or run away with your octopod. <laughs> ah, this spyglass is no good. It's supposed to help me see things far away, but I can't make out what that big shape is. 
Besides, we're so far down, it's dark as night. Good thing the octoscope can see in the dark. Can you give us a better picture of what's out there, Dashy? Aye, aye, Captain. It looks like a ship of some kind. <gasps> Shiver me whiskers! Unless I miss me guess, that's the pirate shipwreck of Calico Jack himself! Calico who? Calico Jack. He was me grandfather and the finest cat pirate ever to roam the seven seas. And he had a golden spyglass. The spyglass was passed down from one member of me family to the next. But before it could pass down to me, Calico Jack's ship sank in the North Atlantic Ocean. And that golden spyglass sank with it. The North Atlantic Ocean? But that's where we are now. Quasi, do you really think that could be the pirate ship of Calico Jack out there? Aye, Captain. Then let's go and investigate. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's a mysterious ship out there that may have belonged to Quasi's grandfather, Calico Jack. Our mission is to explore the shipwreck and help Quasi find his grandfather's spyglass. Peso, Dashy, Quasi, let's go. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Can't you go any faster, Captain? Quasi, that shipwreck has been down there for years. It'll still be there in a few minutes. Oh. Look, everyone. There it is. Well, Quasi, do you think it's Calico Jack's ship? That's got to be a carving of your grandfather. He even looks like you. Let's go inside. Yeah! Huh? Hold on, Quasi. Huh? This may have been a pirate ship once, but now she's home to hundreds of plants and animals. So, Octonauts, be extra careful. We don't want to disturb anything. Aye, aye, Captain. Have you got that, Quasi? Quasi! I wonder where that spyglass might be. Yeah! Oh, spiky sea urchins! Before I could grab it, I got slimed! Who goes there? We may not be able to see, but we can still smell you and hear you, Dag Nabbit. Uh-oh. It looks like this is slime eel territory. Get off our property or I'll slime you again. Sorry, Quasi. We've got to go. Why? But what about the spyglass? Just leave it, Quasi. Two! No! It was me grandfather's and it should be mine! But Quasi... Three! Okay, boys, let him have it. <gasps> Give me two seconds, and I promise I'll be. And then we 
ran in and Quasi was covered all over with this disgusting slime. Fascinating. A single slime eel can produce a bucket of slime in no time at all. Tell me about it. That's the slime eel's way of protecting itself and its home, especially since it can't see. There certainly were a lot of slime eels protecting that spyglass. Not to mention spiky sea urchins and tangly seaweed. Sorry, Quasi. It's probably too dangerous to go back. What would a slime eel want with a spyglass anyway? <sighs> I'm going to bed. Calico Jack. Spyglass. It's mine. 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 The spyglass is mine! <sighs> Quasi. This time, I'm not leaving without that spyglass. <gasps> um. and more, eh? Quasi! Ah, I finally had me grandfather's spyglass, till this wooden beam fell down and trapped me. Ah, I can't move it without bringing the whole ship down. Didn't we warn you to clear out of here and never come back? Ah, you caught me, slime eel. I suppose you're gonna slime me again. Well, go ahead. Mm. That's it. You're right. Ahem. Go ahead. Slime him. I dare you. What? But... My pleasure. You call that sliming someone? Huh. You missed him. Yeah, well, I can't see, remember? Captain, what are you... The slime will make Quasi's tail slippery and we can pull him loose. Oh. Try a little lower next time. Peso, what are you saying? We... Just a little lower. You asked for it. Great work, Slime Eel. Let's pull. I'm free. Thanks, matey. And thanks, Slime Eel. At last, me grandfather's spyglass. And it's all mine. Chow! There's all kinds of plants and animals in there. Looks like this spyglass has become home to many different creatures, Quasi. <sighs> Aye. Back for more, eh? Wait, just a minute. This spyglass has always been passed down in my family. But now, I'm passing it on to you and these little creatures. Oh, that's mighty kind of you, I'm sure. Take good care of it. Yeah, we will. And, um, <laughs> sorry about the slime. Now, go on, get out of here. And after all this time, I finally had the spyglass in my own paws. But when I saw those creatures, I had to put it back. Meow. Quasi, you did the right thing. And you can tell everyone you were the one to discover Calico Jack's shipwreck. Besides... It's not like you didn't get any souvenirs at all. Huh? Here. <laughs> 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 ah!